Okay, now is the path physio diabetes mellitus path physiology. How the diabetes mellitus occur? Okay, as I already mentioned, in a diabetes mellitus there is a insulin insulin deficiency in type one type one diabetes diabetes mellitus and insulin resistance. Or insensitivity uh, decrease in type 2 okay that leads to these two things leads to that leads to decreased tissue glucose utilizations because there is no insulin either uh, in a type 1 there is complete destruction of uh, beta cells that's why no production of insulins whereas in a type 2 there is uh, uh, resistance or insens uh, sensitivity decrease that's why the leads to it leads to decrease tissue glucose utilization due to that what is happening due to that glucose spoil spoil over to blood means all glucose which are in a circulation this is circulation all glucose they cannot go they can neither they can go liver or muscles or adipose tissue so this glucose they cannot going they are unable to go due to the lack of insulin either deficiency or resistance that's why this blood glucose are spilled over into the circulations glucose spilled over to the blood okay and in a adipose tissue what is happening in a adipose tissue this is adipose tissue or fat cell so there is a lipolysis lipo lipolysis means formation of free fatty acids due to that due to that polyphagia polyphagia means increase appetite more appetite more hunger why because the glucose cannot come in to the adipose tissue in the fat cells due to that there is a lipolysis occurs triglyceride release the free fatty acids so lipolysis occurs due to the lipolysis the main symptoms one is occurring is polyphagia polyphagia means more appetite hunger okay this is the action occur in adipose tissue now what is happening into the muscles in a muscles also same now is a protein protein release catabolize catabolize and release amino acids here also amino acids release due to that due to this in a liver what is happening in a liver now is a because the glucose is not going to uh, adipose tissue and muscles so what is going ha to happen here in a liver in a liver there is a gluconeogenesis new glucose is formations from these amino acids as well as from these free fatty acids okay free fatty acids this gluconeogenesis occur and sometimes here is a ketogenesis also occurring ketogenesis also occurring due to ketogenesis there is a more ketone bodies more ketone bodies in the bodies that's why keto acidosis acidosis occur and due to that is a diabetic coma diabetic coma also occurring and due to high gluconeogenesis more glucose is formations there is a more glucose is formations and already in a more glucose in a blood due to that this due to this is a hyperglycemia means uh, blood glucose level increase when these are going to kidney okay in kidney there is a glycosuria okay and 
ketogenesis due to the ketone genesis ketone bodies increase when going to the kidney they release the ketourea keto urea ketourea glycourea so what is happening here is a polyurea due to polyurea more due to polyurea is a volume depletion that's why is a polydipsia dehydrations okay thirst more thirst so in a shortcut what uh, uh, what is happening in the pathology path physiology the insulin deficiency in a type 1 no insulin in formations and type 2 is a, there is a insulin resistance due to that the decreased glucose utilizations by the tissue there is no glucose uptake or utilizations by the tissue that's why in a lip in a adipose tissue or fat cells lipolysis occurs so releasing free fatty acids that's why polyphagia more appetite more hunger and this free fatty free fatty acid go to the liver and from this free fatty acids and amino acids the liver form new gluconeogenesis the formation of the glucose from the non carbohydrate okay so the more glucose is releasing and already more glucose in a blood due to that in a blood circulation hyperglycemia due to this hyperglycemia when it when it goes to the excretory system in a kidney so it releases the glycourea as well as in a liver there is a more ketone bodies productions uh, more fatty acids so more ketone uh, bodies and ketogenesis occur due to the ketogenesis there is a ketoacidosis due to that also diabetic coma also can be and ketogenesis there is a ketone bodies more in a uh, excretory systems and that's why ketourea also there is ketourea glycourea and polyurea also okay due to the polyurea now is a polydipsia more thirst so these three that's why diabetes mellitus later i will describe in a clinical features 3p there is a polyphagia polyurea and poly uh, polydipsia polydipsia polyurea and polyurea polyphagia so how this one affect these three main organs actually tissue organs adipose tissue as well as uh, skeletal uh, this striated muscles and the livers this is the pathophysio thank you